규칙이잖아요 깨지게 안 되는 규칙 이거를 잤으면 그게 무리여야지 신도도 그렇잖아요 빨간 불일 땐 멈추고 파란 불일 땐 걷고 Hello everyone, today I will share a tool for MetaHuman face capture on any video, video to MetaHuman. It is a free Python tool shared by a podcaster on YouTube. It requires the user to configure the environment before it can run. I package the program based on that podcaster's work and users can run it directly after downloading the exe file. The blogger's video link and the package tool download link are in the video introduction. Here's how to use this tool. Double click the exe file then click browse to find the video we want to solve. Then browse to the content folder of the UE project. The UE project here has been built in advance by us. Then enter a name. Later tools will create a folder with this name under the content folder based on this name. Then click extract frames. At this point the tool creates new directories. And extract the frames of the video as pictures into the video frames folder. Let's click extract audio again. At this point, the tool will extract the audio to the specified directory. Then we click Start Depth Processing. At this time, the tool will help us extract the corresponding depth map. Go below Depth Frames. Something needs to be explained here. The demo video here is what I downloaded from YouTube. And use the editing tool to select the face branch. And export 916 vertical screen video. If you use your own video, you also need to ensure that your video is 916. Only vertical videos containing a single face will do. And passing depth map from, we click on UE4 copy calibration files. At this time, under our newly created folder, four new asset files will appear. Since the depth frame generation takes a long time, about seven minutes, so the video is sped up here. Make sure there are depth frames in our specified folder. Video frames. Audio.wav. And four WASET asset files. That's it. Double click to open our UE project. This project was created by me before. It already has a MetaHuman downloaded in it. In order to use the solve function correctly, we need to enable MetaHuman plugin. Make sure this plugin is turned on. Then we select audio and four WASET files. Drag it into the content folder. Save it. We delete the asset file that cannot be opened in the UE5 project. Double click to open the cam underscore depth file. Let's modify the sequence path. Change it to the name of our new folder. We click open. You can put to the A. This means that the path setting is correct. Let's make another copy. Rename it. Change depth to video. This file. Content. Corresponds to our video frames. In video frames. What is stored is the sequence frame of the RGB image. We click open to see that our video can be played. It means it is correct. At this time, we will create a new file of footing type.
Double click to open it. Add our image frame and depth frame in turn. There are also audio files and camera calibration files. Set width to 720. Height is set to 1280. Frame rate set to 30. Choose iPhone 14 or later here. We will create a new MetaHuman identity file at this time. Double click to open. Select Create Identity from Footage. Let's first see if the depth frame is displayed correctly. If it shows like in the video, it means that the depth frame is correct. You can proceed to the next step. We choose a frame of neutral expression. OK, we choose frame 407 as the neutral expression. Then create the boost frame. Click MetaHuman Identity Solve. Select body. Choose another body. Then choose Auto Rig MetaHuman. Have to wait a while here. You can calculate a MetaHuman Identity file. Then we click Prepare Performance. At this time, UE will help us train MetaHuman Identity. Used for subsequent video analysis. Create a new file of type MetaHuman Performance. This type of file is used for video calculation. Let's double click to open it. Select the script we want to solve. Then select the identity file. Choose Yes here. There are no other special settings. Click Process to start solving. I fast forwarded here because the solution time is relatively long. The entire solution is roughly solved twice. The first time should be a relatively rough solution. The second time is a more refined solution. Okay, the solution is finished here. Then we click Export Level Sequence. Here select one of our MetaHuman Blueprint classes. This MetaHuman was downloaded by me through Quixel Bridge before. Then click Create.
We double click to open this level sequence file. We click save. Then left click the level sequencer file. Then click our plugin export button. It can help us export the solved controller data into a JSON file. This JSON file will be under our save folder. Other easy tools. This JSON can be read. Next we return to the level sequence, set the identity, metahuman and the position of the picture and then browse the final solution effect. Our tutorial ends here. Thank you everyone for watching.